Hi, I'm Ehzad Babai. I'm here with another with another tutorial on PHP swap services. Today, I'm going to explain you how you can create a swap services in PHP and you can and how you can consume it in PHP and C sharp. Let's get to work, please. <coughs> For creating a uh, web and uh, swap services in PHP, you have you going to declare a class who could uh, that could respond to the request of the users or clients today uh, the class that i created is a test class i name it test class and i have a few function declared in that class oh, uh, let me get rid of this comment first uh, okay when you uh, i declared a few function as you can see it's uh, just a few function who could add a submission or multiply or divide divide and numbers and return it to the client and this parameter that you see here is just the parameter that you have to set for creating a swap service you need to declare a swap server as you can get in a sense of swap servers in PHP and the first parameter that you're going to set it is the the window definition file web service definition file of course sorry and the first parameter that you're going to set is the visual file address that is uh, as you can see is my in my local host web service this folder and the simple and test visa. this is file um, the second parameter that you're going to set is the swap version that I format I set it as swap version 1 2 point this class this uh, as you can see this set class is a class that responds to the request you uh, request of the users you have to set a class uh, in that server uh, is, is, is its responsibility is to take care of the request of the users and on the end of the line I said that to handle the request um, the second parameter that I'm going to explain you is the Windows uh, web service definition wall. These um, files are a little complex to explain, but I'm going to show you a few details of this class, this file. The first uh, for each uh, for each function, actually, you have to create a message for that, incoming or outgoing. For each function in that swap service has a incoming message and outgoing message. After creating that, as you can see, there are uh, for incoming uh, for incoming uh, parameters I, I get two int number from the client and I return a string as an answer to that uh, um, to that client you can send back any type of the data double float or real or long and swap services the second point I'm going to explain is the port type I declared the messages here and I get and can I'm declaring my functions in that file which is the is annotated with a with a operation name of the operation and the messages and the both message and incoming and outgoing and in uh, the binding I'm declaring each function with this parameter operation input and output again I annotated them and the end of the I create um, I declare which uh, which page is going to respond the, to the user client uh, requests and um, as you can see it's my local host web services simple and test server for this access I'm going I have to tell you that for example if you're if you located your services in a some done sub in a special domain, for example, I don't know, you can say Google or I don't know, let's see best dot com. You have to put your address in that in this manner. But for this now, I located in local host, so I'm just going to copy it local host. Here's a, a little explanation about the servers and the Windows definition file let's get back to client I create a page in this page uh, I create a client to consume those functions that I created in the services I declare two number here and for calling for uh, getting instance of the client in this uh, client side I declare swap client 
and the first parameter that I set it is the Windows definition file, Windows service definition file that is in the server. And the second one is the version of that. And uh, for uh, for calling the swap uh, swap uh, for calling the swap functions, you type the client swap calls the name of function and the param uh, the input parameters, and the TCS request and the installer dot installer rest is going to be a response of the service to your functions call. And I the end of this. Uh, I'm showing those the answers from the service server and I echo them for example if you type for example let me see let's change it to 30 24 is good let's just as you can see all the these are the response from the server that send me back Okay, this is uh, how you can consume the, your services in the PHP. Just you need to declare the instance of the client side and call the function and get the response. In the following video, I'm going to explain the, um, some complex type, for example, retaining class or much more complex than the usual thing, for example, retaining one answer. In the further video, I'm going to create. Let's just back to C sharp. I'm going to create another project in C sharp. The currently version that I'm using is Ultimate 2013. I'm going to Visual C sharp. I have to Windows def Windows form applications. I created my PHP web service. I click OK. Let's just wait for a second. Let C sharp uh, my project. Okay. For a demo, I'm just going to call two functions of that service. But for the but. As soon as I upload my project on the GitHub, you can download it and call or work on those functions. I'm going to just drag a uh, two label and uh, two label. Uh, well, actually, text box. I'm gonna call it first. txt first I'm going to drag a new to two button okay I'm going to go btn sum btn and null mall sum txt second okay that I need more more text box to show you the result I'm gonna type in txt rest result okay now we need to uh, we need to add our web service references I'm going to click, right click on the references add the service references for this artist I'm going to copy my Windows definition 
uh, web service definition file which is uh, actually here and I'm going to paste it let's just go let's yes as you can see my fine and the uh, visual studio has no my functions here I'm gonna call it my PHP swap server um, sorry let's let's back again for adding references you just click on this references add service reference you click and you paste the address that you copied from the swap server and click go it's well known is now your functions and call it my php server swap server swap server and click add okay it's not uh, as you can see in the app config file mm, the endpoint that we have one endpoint that is uh, my ad address test server let's go back here and click on mall and both some okay let's just mall i'm gonna get a new instance of the my php swap server yes dot i'm going to call it my port up client is going to client equals you know. okay i'm going to type txt yes, dot text equals client dot This is mall. I'm gonna call it function mall. I'm gonna copy it and the parse txt first the text the text dot frame and for the second number I'm gonna type it and the parse the txt second dot text dot trim uh, finish uh, I'm just gonna copy this here I'm going to just sum for this just type sum data okay just run our application First number is going to be to 12 and I'm 12 mall. One and four is okay. Let's end uh, 10. One at two. 120. Just let's sum. No, sorry. 12. Sum. 24. Yes, okay. 43. See, as you can see, our application we could successfully consume our PHP web service in both PHP and C sharp. I'm sorry, I don't have time for consume it in Java, but for another video, I'm sure I promise you we can. I will, I will show you how to consume the PHP swap services in Java, uh, NetBeans, and both Android even. For further video, we're going to record this for Android too. Okay. Um, please ask mm, the, for the last thing that I'm going to tell you if you have a more question about the out swap server um, go to this web, web page address php dot that manual English class swap server and to how to call um, 
you want, if you want more information about the client card go to this page address if you want to have an, uh, inf more information about the structure of the definitions file windows web service definitions file go to this address w2schools.schema.default.asp it talks about the, how the schemas can be arranged for swap services and even if you have worked on the WCF, the WCF um, simultaneously create your uh, Windows definition, so you need you don't need to create it manually. But for sub service, you have to create it uh, create it manually. But you can find another an, a lot of the or a lot of functions that you, you can pass your function, and it gives you the definitions for all of that functions. If you want, if you figure, if you want to speed your functions uh, the last thing that I'm going to tell you if you have a, if you want to give a suggestion about a further video that can help this series of video please subscribe uh, send me an email or you can or you can add me on Facebook or you can send uh, you can on YouTube you can type you can go you can go to my channel and subscribe thanks for watching